Uzana bukole, alleluia. Uzana bukole. My name is Deborah Abiodu. I am Adebola Akinbright's mom, the boy with the missing intestine at Lagos State University teaching of Classes. It all started in March when he had ruptured appendix. We had to take him to a private hospital at Lepo, Obitox Hospital. And the surgery was done after two weeks he was discharged and we were going on our life normally. Unfortunately, after three months, he came with a complication of intestinal obstruction, which we had to take to the same hospital. And he was also operated on. But unfortunately, after seven days that the doctor at the pregnant gave us, there was a leak. There was still leak coming out from the intestine. So the man said he would bring the professor at last week. So I'm getting to, we got to last week on the 14th of June. And another surgery was done on the, on the 17th of July. That is around 27 days after. It was after the surgery that the lead surgeon called us that they did not see small intestine in my son's body. The question is how? What happened? How did that happen? When did the small intestine got missing? And that is the question I've been asking as a mother since 17th of July up to this present moment. And none of the doctors, either private or uh, the ones at last week, have been able to provide answers. I am calling on Nigerians. I am calling on Nigerians to help, to help me call on uh, Governor Babajide Sonwolu to help me look into my case and help me save Adebola's life. Adebola's life is at stake. The boy is struggling to survive. I'm calling on Governor Babajide Sonwolu to please Come and help me save my boy. He needs to be saved now while he is alive. The boy has been feeding, the boy couldn't absorb uh, any nutrients because there is lots of uh, small intestine. He couldn't eat, even if he eats, he passes it out like that. What he has been depending on is TPN and it costs one, uh, it costs 69,000 naira for one and it takes two in every two days. How do you expect me to get 138,000 naira every two days? every three days to be able to sustain this way. That's why I'm begging Nigerians. I'm calling on the, gov the governor of Lagos State. So, oh, Luto, please help me. And even the lasting solution is according to what we have researched, that it's intestinal transplant. And we don't, we don't even have we don't have info, much information about it, but we know that it, according to where all we are, that it cannot be done in, in, in Africa or Nigeria. It's abroad. So that's why I'm calling uh, 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 Governor Sonwo to please help me. Help me save Adebola. Don't let Adebola die. Baba Wani, Ejo, Eshanumi. Eshanumi. So this is the video of a woman who is crying out now to Lagos State Governor Babajide Samuel over what I see as a bizarre. Can you imagine that a 12 year old son of this woman's intestine, small intestine, got missing? during treatment at Lagos State University Teaching Hospital and a private hospital she did not mention. How on earth will you know, someone's 12-year-old uh, son's small intestine will be missing? Because she took him to the hospital for him to be treated. And in the process of treating the boy from a Lagos State University Teaching Hospital to a one private hospital, I believe she should have named that hospital as well. Her small intestine got missing. Should we blame the doctors? Who are we supposed to blame? Is it the hospital or I mean is it the Lagos State University Teaching Hospital or even the private hospital? Where did this 12-year-old boy's small intestine disappear? Because 
this is busy and now the boy cannot even eat yes the boy cannot even the process of digestion take place in both uh, small and large intestine now small intestine is missing you had her she said that the boy cannot even eat and the food will remain in, in his abdomen because he will pass it out and he's taking her one hundred eight thousand naira for two days to buy whatever she's using to augment that is crazy now the boy is needing uh, a small intestine transplant and there is no doctor according to her that can do that in nigeria i mean she will have to fly the boy abroad to any good hostel abroad for that to be done for the boy's life to be saved now many nigerians many people have died in nigeria it's not because their sickness is so bad their disease is so bad because of horrible 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 hospital management horrible handling of the doctors i read a lot of comments regarding this case online you know yesterday and i saw a lot of nigerians voicing out their anger some some are like when uh, what do you expect when doctors are traveling out they are not paying doctors when in nigeria and, and most of these you know pri- uh, government owned hospital they are not paying them well so what they do is write gov- uh, licensing exam and they will travel out and, and do, some of them some of them were joking they are like native doctors are the ones you know man in the hospitals now quack doctors people most of them that not even graduate that not even make good score they are the ones in various hospitals they don't even know what they do that's why you see nigerians paying huge amount of money to go abroad to get treated because they value their life so many things are happening in this country nigeria this one what i read from one uh, uh one commentator on ninda Ikeji's blog this person said that one day she was in operating rooms she according to her she says there was a man looking like meat seller an old looking tattered man right inside the surgery room can you imagine a man who's not a doctor not a nurse but he is in the surgery room these are organ harvesters according to her she said he and the doctor were busy gisting imagine the surgery room doctor is gisting with someone who looks like a madman before the uh, nurse injected her according to what she was revealing she said i became afraid because he looked like someone that says organ i was so troubled i began to plead the blood of jesus before i slept off for the surgery to start whether they took an organ i don't know but i know they failed the nurse told me because of the amount of fat in, uh, fat in my tummy it took a while before they could remove the appendix she went for appendix surgery and then a man looked like a, that looks like a madman with sack these are organ harvesters what some of these i'm, I'm not stating categorical but I, I think that's what happened what they do is if you go for treatment in a hospital just like you can go to any um, a computer repair shop when you go to them and so give them your computer to fix they can take your ram they can take your hard disk internal memory or whatsoever thing and give you back your laptop when you return to your house you see that some on some parts in your laptop is missing now these things are happening in hospitals you go to hospital for you to be treated for you to be treated by doctors they will steal your organs so how do you explain to the world how do you explain to nigerians that a boy of 12 years old whose mother took in the hospital to be treated in the process his small intestine got missing and is nowhere to be found and now the boy his mother is paying 138,000 in two days for him to even eat where will she get that kind of money even men looking at the one she cannot afford it even in two months that i mean everything she has got or she has gathered will be gone because this is just like you throwing your substance or your money in the fire for it to get burnt so what is really happening in nigerian hospital same lagos it was just a few days ago that someone who is doing intern or has much in lagos she entered the the either the, the lift or something the lift malfunction and that was how she died and the woman i think the woman that's in charge of health in lagos said they should grieve uh, respect uh, is it more respectfully or something and the, the governor of lagos state his wife said is an arrow so that's what she could explain what is wrong in this country nigeria it's just for you in fact the best thing is just for everyone in this country to be praying not to have any health issue not to have any complicated health issue that will take you to the hospital because definitely they are going to mismanage that disease they are going to you know terribly handle that problem 
So there is really, really fire on the mountain. Doctors are traveling out every time. Doctor, experienced doctors, they are traveling out because money plays a vital role. Money answers everything. If you are not paying them well, how on earth do you expect them to continue to, you know, give out their time, their energy, their sleep? You know, they are sacrificing their sleep to take care of patients. You know, all 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 we could see in this country is the, the, the federal government giving huge budgets to politicians that are not doing anything in this country, and doctors. There is no much budget for them to be properly paid. It's a shame. I hope that the Lagos State Governor uh, Babaji Samuel will, will see this video and act immediately to help this woman. There is no nothing to discuss again here. It's just for this woman and her 12 year old son to be flown abroad for this in intestine transplant to be done. Then, after which, investigation can now continue to you know, find out how the small intestine vanished. Is a disgrace.